planet. planet. G-Force, Princess, Tiny, he up Mark, Jason, and watching over them from center Neptune, their computerized coordinator, Seven Zark Seven, watching, warning against surprise attacks by alien galaxies beyond space. young orphans protecting Earth's entire galaxy. Always five, acting as one. Dedicated, inseparable, invincible. We are like creatures in a huge aquarium deep down here in center Neptune. Nerve center for all galaxy defenses and security. Keeping an eye on all the friendly planets in the Intergalactic Federation is a full-time job, day and night. Right now, I'm worried about planet Exor, way out at the edge of the Milky Way. We've sent a team of robot planes up there to investigate something strange that's happened to their biggest city. And I'll watch them all the way. If you've got to see something 10 million light years away, you need all the help you can get. There we are, planet Exor. Their major city is located on an island, and it's suddenly become surrounded by a powerful wall of radiation. Robot planes have arrived and are ready to take off and try to penetrate that wall. If those robot planes can get through, they'll bring back pictures of what's going on inside that silent city. The city inside is completely deserted. Everyone was warned to leave by a mysterious voice shortly before an explosion occurred. It was like the old Megaton bomb. Our robot planes were completely disintegrated. And I hear it was a lot dirtier. Highest radiation reading ever. Not only that, Mark, but somehow they left a belt of radioactivity surrounding the city like a wall. Any idea who did it? Spectra bombed it, but we believe it's their own base. Bombing themselves? Somebody's going to have to go up there and take a first-hand look. Guess who? We think they bombed Exor to prove they have no interest in it, but they're there. You can handle the radiation if you stay no more than an hour. All that way for an hour? You'll be able to pierce the radiation wall by setting off an equal amount of heat. You mean transmutation? What happens if we transmute in radiation? One of two things. We fly through or we fly through. Drop me a card. An aircraft carrier will deionize you when you arrive. That'll protect you for one hour. We really haven't got a thing to worry about. <laughs>
rush me into approving an elaborate camouflage. Now you request more time. Not long, exalted one. A matter of a few hours. You have fabricated the myth that this island city on planet Exor is our secret base in hopes that somehow you can lure G-Force into investigating? Not simply in hopes, O oh luminous one. The wheels are already in motion for the final destruction of G-Force. Did you send them invitations? No great light of wisdom, but I was able to entice them and they are now well on their way to planet Exor. <laughs> There's our ship. And now we get sprayed with some gloop that keeps us safe for only one hour. I'll take olive green. I don't think it comes in colors, Kiab. Did you notice how Anderson hated to look us in the eye? That's because we're into something new. He's not sure this thing will work, and he couldn't test it, so we're his guinea pigs. He's always been straight with us. Why the switch? Well, if it'll make you feel better, I brought along my Mini Geiger. Good planning, Princess. Keep Miss Mini handy. I think we'll be able to use her. Prepare to deionize. There it is, and it's hot as a volcano. Button down, Tiny. Get it on remote. Big Ten. That part was no lie. We're sprayed. Yeah, we're sprayed, and counting on some invisible shield to get us through the next hour. I don't trust what I can't see, and it might be a good idea if you didn't either. What Chief said? I know what he said, but I didn't like the way he said it. Well, how about it? You want to tell Anderson to forget it, or do you want to try it? I'll run the ship, Jason. Key up, get back in your seat. Say please. Stations, everybody. Transmute. <laughs> We're in it. something else. Everything under control in your department, Princess? I guess. Kiop! Kiop, are you okay? Kiop! Okay. We're in the eye. The belt's completely surrounding us. Looks clear from here. That's a nice change. Set us down, Tiny. A big blank, like somebody used a giant eraser on it. But I get a feeling we're going to be jumped. And not by anything human. One thing, they sure got the traffic problem licked here. Princess, put your mini Geiger to work. See what it has to say. to confine all the radioactivity to the belt around the city. It is safe. And you thought Chief Anderson was sending us on a bad trip. I honestly did, Jason. It didn't sound right somehow. Stay longer? Longer than an hour in a creepy place like this? I'll be in and out and give you 45 minutes change. Chicken! I'm here! Woo! Thing's not going anywhere. Key up. Don't fool around with anything till we check it out. Key up, look out! Jump! Get off that thing! Don't jump! Hang on! You okay? 
You're lucky it stopped. I didn't start it. No, but I wonder who did. who's being chicken. Well, it's okay. I'm here. Not chicken. The Geiger. We're hot. It must be drifting in from the belt. And drifting fast. We better jet. If the Phoenix loses deionization, we'll never get back out of here. Let's go. When I was nowhere near up. Is for me. Anderson was wrong. If you were here, Zoltar, I'd teach you a lesson. You've tricked us once too often. Take that. Ah, that angered you to have the poison knocked from your hands so expertly, didn't it? Oh, dear. I don't know my own strength. I was only brushing up on my G-Force tactics. Never know when I might be called upon to use them. I've got to get back in touch with Planet Exor and see how the G-Force team is doing. Something very strange is going on in that silent city up there. Giant crab! Yep, and I'd say it's fresh from Zoltar's fish market. I knew this was a bad scene. Hit the scanner. Check. Go in. Through the eye. Let's see if we can figure it out how they program it. Watch out! It's going to attack! Lift out! I can't, Mark! I'm trying everything I know, but I can't get any lift at all! It's got us in its claw! Shake it loose, Tiny! Can you get a look at it on your closed circuit? I'll see. It's a miracle. 
I thought we blew up. You'll never believe this, team. We're on the carrier. Big, tiny, super pilot. You saved us. I did it? Yeah. I wonder how I did it. Okay, team. Let's go topside. Meet the ship's crew. G-Force, thank you. You must have been responsible for our rescue. Don't thank us, Commander. Chief Anderson did that. Anderson? Here? Welcome back from Oblivion. That's where we almost were. I realize this was a very difficult assignment, Commander, and I know you had your doubts. But in the future, you should put more confidence in me. Almost had it. Well, yes. The Phoenix is refueled and ready to go back into the city. If you feel you've had enough rest. Wouldn't you like to go back in with us, Chief? No, I have some urgent business to take care of here. I'll follow you all the way on the monitor. Tiny, check the fuel gauge. I'll check it right... Uh-oh, we're just about out of space juice. Are you absolutely sure of that? I'm looking right straight at it. Didn't you check it? No, I didn't check. They told me it was all set to go, so I figured it was set. Great. I gave you a safe hour on that island, and still you don't trust me. Some hour. I was just making a routine flight check according to established procedure, Chief. Hope you know what you're doing. Jason, get out. Okay, Anderson. There was no base on that island, and you knew it. What are you saying, Mark? You just wanted to radiate us. And when that didn't work, you tried drowning. Don't pretend I hit you. You know how accurate I am with this thing. I had the feeling you were sending us on a doomsday flight from the start, Anderson. Why? Why? Because I serve a higher power than you, G-Force. You are surprised? Good, because I have further surprises for you. We have tried over and over again through cunning to put an end to this infamous team of Earthlings. Now we shall do it once and for all through strikes. I wonder what's taking the team so long. I think maybe they could use some of my incredible muscle. Where's your manners? What happened to Zoltar? You know what they say. When the going gets bad, the bad get going. Farewell, G-Force, but make no mistake, it is only farewell. We'll meet again very soon, and the outcome will be different. You may depend on it! devil always managed to get away. He always keeps us busy while he does his disappearing act. But one day, we'll nail him. Derail him. Maybe his spinning pie plate will run out of fuel. Fuel. Right, Tiny. Let's refuel and get back to Earth. I want to check on the real Chief Anderson. Well, G-Force is ready to leave planet Exer and return to Earth after a very narrow escape. 
Zoltar's plot might have worked if Mark hadn't suspected there was something wrong. Of course, I could have alerted them if I'd known the chief had been lured away from Center Neptune. and goings here on Earth. Only when they're going to outer space or coming back again, like G-Force is now. I do wish they'd keep me better informed. Then we wouldn't have hair raising near misses like this. Yes, One Rover One, you're very good about reporting in and out. He always tells me when he's going and when he gets back. <laughs> of course, I never tell him. He couldn't do either one if I didn't push the right buttons. Uh, things like that are sacred secrets to G-Force. 